<laughs> Welcome to the van. Come on in. Please take off your shoes. We are a shoe-free household. Let's start here in the kitchen. She is small, but she packs a punch. We have our silicone dish mat right here because we hand wash all our dishes. We don't have a dishwasher. But underneath is a, an electric cooktop, which we cook all of our meals basically here in the van. We also have a lovely sink. This little thing right here, you can take out to use the sink, but then it's also there if you want extra counter space, it has little slots in it. So when the water drips, it just falls through instead of sliding all the way down your counter. We also have a nice little spice rack that came with the van, which is very, very handy. This is not a kitchen thing, but uh, we do have an uh, like a home Wi-Fi. A lot of people ask, where do we get internet from? We just have regular Wi-Fi, like you would have at your house. It's T-Mobile. We also have uh, AT&T hotspot and a Verizon hotspot. So if there's internet in the area, we're pretty much covered. Now below our kitchen, we have all of this drawer space, which is really fantastic. In the first drawer here is where we have all of our utensils. We have six spoons, six knives, six forks. That pretty much gets us through. And then all the other things you would normally have in your kitchen, we just have one of. Here in the second drawer, we have four plates, four bowls, a couple of storage containers, and a lot of like cloths and uh, hot pads and things like that. Then in the very bottom drawer, it is the deepest one. And as you can see, a little couple things get caught. Um, but we do have one pot and then we have three different pans, a small frying pan, a big frying pan, and a cast iron. We haven't actually used the cast iron yet. I think we thought we'd be cooking outside more, but we just haven't done that. Um, right here, we have a cool little pull out drawer like this. And I have my tool kitchen scrubbies that I use to wash all of the dishes. Also this, is very important because this blocks the sink, which means I can actually block uh, things here in the sink. Like I can put this in, it keeps the water from draining and that's how I block everything. I actually need to block some socks today. And then this drawer is really awesome. It's like a divided drawer. This little trash can came with the van and we just have little trash bags that we put in it. Um, most of the time, if we have big trash, we just hold on to it and like find a gas station or something to put it in. And, I, and by big, I mean like, a takeout container. That way we can go a couple of days without having to empty this out. I have cleaning supplies and also toasters dog food, but we put extra dog food elsewhere. I have to kick Kent outside to show you our fridge <laughs> and microwave. So we do have other ways to cook. We have a microwave. It's actually a pretty decent size. Like we made a bag of popcorn last night. I could not do that in my college microwave. Um, inside we do keep one microwavable plate because our other plates are some kind of material that you can't microwave. And then I have a little cozy that somebody made me. Cindy, thank you so much. And so that kind of keeps it from sliding around, banging around when we're driving. Our fridges, our fridge and freezer, both have these latches on them. And so you slide the latch and then the handle itself is also locking so that it opens up like so. Um, and as you can see, we're fully stocked because we got 10 days worth of groceries because we will not be anywhere with like a big, national chain grocery store for a while. We have a water filter in there so we can double filter our water. We filter it coming in to the van and then also filter it for drinking. Um, so that's actually pretty great. It functions really, really well. We're lucky to have a big one. Down on the bottom down here, you can actually use this as a fridge or freezer. So we have it as a refrigerator right now. So we just have basically drinks and jars and heavy things down here, um, but you could turn it up and keep things frozen. We're debating if we want to do that or not. Moving on from kitchen things, we have our bathroom slash storage room. So technically we have a toilet and a shower in here. Kind of open this up a little bit so you can see. The toilet is a fully porcelain toilet. We have a foot pedal flush that flushes it into a holding tank underneath the van called the black tank. And then we have access from the outside where you can flush out all the waste and everything. So it's actually very easy and very functional and very nice. Now on this side here behind this door, technically we have a shower and a sink. This sink is the smallest sink I've ever seen in my life and we have not used it. We also don't use the shower. It's one, we're using it for storage, but two, it's just really small and like 
we need to reserve the water for other things. So we will shower at campgrounds or Planet Fitness is one of our favorite places to go to work out and shower. So we just kind of manage that. So instead, we use this space to store all of the hoses, cords, our toiletries, and our dirty laundry. So you might be wondering, how does one use this toilet when it's facing that way and all the things are covered? Uh, you just open this door right here and you sit like this, halfway out into, <laughs> into, the va into the rest of the van. And honestly, it works just fine. We wish that the toilet only took up this much space and this was like shelving for storage because we genuinely don't need the rest of the bathroom. Now we're gonna step back into the most multi-purpose space. This is the living room slash office slash bedroom. So lots going on here. Um, if you don't have a dog in the way, this is toaster, by the way. Um, this is a nice bench seat. There's actually three seat belts back here. So if we did need to have multiple people riding, we could. It is very, very bouncy though. So not the greatest. Something super cool we have are these tables that lift up and down. Kent has one and I have one. So they lift up and down. They also swivel around. So I can bring it all the way back here if I wanna sit here or I can usually I sit here on the side one. Toaster takes up all this space and Kent hit, sits here when we're working. Uh, they're also very nice to have for eating and sometimes if I need like an extension of the countertop for the kitchen, I'll set stuff down on this one right here. Okay, so the way this works as a bed is this whole thing actually lays flat. It's electronic, it just goes all the way down. We have some mattress toppers here in the back that we lay out. And then these two tables fit down here. These cushions come together, it sounds complex. It takes us like maybe five minutes every single night, but it all, all in all, when it's all done, it's a queen size bed and it's actually very, very comfortable. One more thing, come back here. Um, Tozer is squishing me, but uh, we have a TV, which we didn't think we really needed, but it has been really nice. You pull this down, and then it actually comes out so we can kind of angle it however we need it. It even can go all the way out to like face you, I guess, if you're cooking in the kitchen or in the front or something. Um, but we do use it quite often to watch things like Fallout. That's what you're watching right now. We have a couple of little knitting related things that have made a homey little touch. So actually the first thing that we got is down here on the floor. You wanna crouch down with me? Or should I pick it up? So this right here, is our little like kitchen rug. It is an alpaca placemat that I got at a farm in Tennessee. So they had like the big rugs and I knew that wasn't gonna work. So I decided to get this little mini one and it just makes it feel kind of homey even if it slides around and toaster goes running and slides off of it all the time, it's still great. So this is the next thing that I got in New Mexico at a coffee shop and it is a crocheted succulent and we have it hanging here on what used to be our paper towel holder. So just imagine paper towels here, it actually broke off, but it's kind of nice that it broke because it's easier for me to wash my face when I don't have to like duck all the way underneath the paper towel roll. So now it's just a little place to hang our plant. One of the newest things that we got is this beautiful heart that my friend Charles knit and sent me. And we just hung it up right here on one of our drawers and it makes me think of them every day and miss New York. Over here, I have my animal lineup. So the first is my little alpaca that I got at Bliss Yarns. And this is actually alpaca, so it's so soft. I love it. Then I have this little uh, horse that Kent got me in Mexico when we were in Texas in Big Bend. He crossed over the Rio Grande River. I don't know why that sounded not right to me and got me this. And also this, this is so cool. It's hand beaded wire and it has a little road runner on it. And I love it so much. All right, we have a ton of storage in this van. And I think we should start with the most important thing, which is of course, storing my whips. So I have to clean this out every three weeks or so, but this is the space that I have designated for my knitting and crochet. You'll notice that my hexi blanket is not in here because I need to figure out a new solution for that. It's getting so big. I'm thinking about getting maybe like a pillowcase from a secondhand store and like stuffing it inside. Anyhow, um, I have a lot of projects in here. I have my everyday reading project in my book bag. I have my hiking project in my uh, chalk bag from Cotopaxi. And then I have just a lot of other things that I'm either gonna be starting soon or working on that are in here or yarn ready to do things. I also keep my Kindle holder or my book holder in here because I love to 
sit at night and like put it in here or in the morning, have my book holder in there. And then in this basket, I have scraps, but also wool wash. I have a lot of wool wash all of a sudden. And then last thing here is my needle and notion storage. I can keep a ton of stuff in here. It's so compact and I have everything that I need. All right, let's quickly go through the rest of our storage. Here I have my clothes. I have two baskets, pants and tops. On the other side, we have Kent's clothes. He has far less than I do. And technology slash our mini rice cooker. This is our biggest storage space and it packs a punch. In the top, we have food pantry storage. In the middle, we have like medicine, sunscreen, toilet paper. And then in the very bottom, we have our camera bag. And then this is my toiletry bag. So when we're like staying at a gas station or even at a campground, I just grab this and then I can go in and get ready for the day. Almost forgot about this one. This is our like real pantry. It's a pretty cool drawer. We can store quite a lot of like jars and different things on it. Only problem is this thing has come when we take a left turn too hard, it comes flying out. So you're gonna see there's a couple little nicks on that one. Right beneath the pantry, we have another set of drawers where Kent keeps a lot of his like smaller things. Like I said, socks and underwear for me and more toiletries for Kent. There is a ton of other hidden storage back here. We have crammed things into every single space. Another cabinet I almost forgot about. So this one has all of my coffee stuff in the, for in the morning, which is super important and takes up a lot of space. And then this is all the stuff that I need to mail things out. I'm constantly mailing things home. Whenever I use some yarn, I don't finish it all up. There's nowhere to put it. So I put it in a mailer and I send it to my parents' house in Tennessee. So I have poly mailers, a shipping label printer, a scale, all kinds of stuff up there. And it helps us keep this space from filling up. I hope you enjoyed our van tour. We finally filmed it, but now I gotta go do some laundry. So it's time for you to get out. <laughs> Close it. Just try it. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>